drummers against implied timekeeping, 10 songs every drummer should know. I want to give you from a historical perspective uh, 10 songs that I think are just very important for any drummer to know. Um, they have historical significance for drummers, um, but they're not famous songs. And over the years I've been playing a very long time, and I want younger drummers, blast beaters in particular, metal, any of the guys who are maybe the furthest away from the songs I'm going to uh, talk about, uh, to know them and why they're important. All right, so these are 10 songs that every drummer should know, and I don't care what style you're playing. And as a disclaimer, this is, of course, my opinion, and my opinion only, so I ask for you to bear with me. All right, I'm going to do them off the top of my head, all right? Uh, but they're there. And the first song every drummer should know, it's just very important, is... Um, by Billy Cobham when he played with Mahavishnu Orchestra. Uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra was a significant band uh, because of just what they brought to fusion music. They're kind of the originators of it. But the song I want every drummer to know is You Know, You Know. And the reason I mention it is because uh, it's an odd time signature one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, and so forth. That song, every drummer should know. Billy Cobham is on it, uh, and it's just an important song, all right? Uh, number two, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. James Brown. Now, this particular song has to be the one that is on the 1970 live album, Sex Machine. There are others, including in the box set of this title. I don't want nothing. Uh, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. I'll open up the door and get it myself. It's a long title. But the one on the Sex Machine album, the live album, 1970, I think Jabo Starks is the drummer on it. I'm almost sure. And uh, Bootsy is the bass player. This song is, for me, like the Ten Commandments of drums because Jabo is playing the time in a very tight way. And uh, he doesn't do any fills. Nothing. Nothing. Just time. And I want you to hear it. It's deadly stuff. If you're a drummer, I don't care what style it is, you must know this song, all right? James Brown, I don't want no, no, nothing. I'll open up the door and get it myself, all right? Number two. Number three is Funky Broadway, Wilson Pickett. Wilson Pickett was a soul singer in the 70s and 60s. The drummer on the track from the uh, Muscle Shoals Studios in uh, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, uh, is Al Jackson. You know, he does Green Onions and lots of soul hits of the 60s. Uh, on funky Broadway, he's just playing time, and then there is a bridge in there. But every drummer should know this song. It is just absolutely unbelievable. All right? Number three. Number four. If You Don't Know Me By Now, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. This particular song... If You Don't Know Me By Now, 1972, is uh, I would love to test every blast beater I know on that song because it is slow as hell. And if you can play fast, you should be able to play slow, but this is really slow. It's a fantastic test for any drummer. Um, and it's almost the template of the things that I'm trying to teach in the open-handed position. Know that song, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, If You Don't Know Me By by now. The next one's called Ooh Child by the Five Stair Steps, 1971, I think it is. Uh, the drummer on there is a guy named Jerome Bailey. And uh, it when it came out, I listened to it and I knew it was something that I had never heard before because in the verse he's doing um, syncopated patterns. And it's just absolutely fantastic what he's doing. Know this song if you're a drummer. Know this song. Uh, uh, 
Ooh Child by the Five Stair Steps. Number six, um, I want you to know this song called um, Do You Know the Way to San Jose? Um, it was with Burke Bacharach and Hal David who wrote it, but Dionne Warwick made the song popular in, I think, it's 68. And the drummer on it is Gary Chester, absolutely the, uh, you know, the killer studio player in New York City in the 60s. Uh, he wrote uh, the New Breed book, drum book, which is considered one of the greatest drum books. Know that song because of the syncopated pattern. He was the first drummer to play a syncopated pattern. Uh, in a bossa nova or samba type of rhythm. You've got to know this song if you're a drummer, all right? Number seven is uh, Use Me Up with Bill Withers. This is another one that came out in the early 70s. And my God, uh, I think it's Bernard Purdy, and he's just playing really funky with it, uh, uh, double time on the hi-hat with uh, just great things on that. Uh, Use Me Up, Bill Withers. You've got to know that song. All right, you have to know that song. I would assume a lot of you guys are Zeppelin or into speed metal, but these are pop tunes, and they're just very important tunes that would just get by you. All right. The another another uh, comes to mind is more today than yesterday. A guy named uh, the drummer on it is named uh, 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 Brian Perello or Peretta, something like that. Um, that's uh, the Spiral Staircase. Not the five stair steps of Ooh Child. This is the spiral staircase. The drum, the drum track is absolutely uh, just really important. I, I can't stress it. Uh, there's even a mistake at the end of the uh, uh, second chorus uh, on, the, on this 45, 1969. Uh, but the track is brutal. You know, <laughs> if you're a drummer, you have to know that one. All right? You just have to know it. Another one that comes to mind, uh, the ninth... Um, I think that every uh, drummer should know are uh, Nights on Broadway by the Bee Gees. Uh, this was an earlier hit of the Bee Gees, um, but the drummer on it, I don't know who he is, uh, but it is just uh, the ideas and the way he, he constructed the rhythm. It is just a great track. Uh, my favorite, actually, song by the Bee Gees, uh, Nights on Broadway. Every drummer needs to know that song, all right? If you, I don't care what you're playing. If it's jazz, metal, reggae, you need to know that song, all right? And the tenth song that I think that every drummer should know, and, um, you know, there's no order of these things. I just think they're, they're obscurities that um, drummers don't get a chance to listen to, all right? And that would be uh, the song uh, by the band Cold Blood, Shop Talk. That is Sandy McKee on drums, and I did a thing a while back on unheralded drummers, and he passed away in 1995. It was a strong influence on me because of the unique way he plays things. But every drummer should know this song. I don't care what you're doing, all right? Um, those are the ten, all right? So I can't recap all ten in my mind now, but uh, know that song by Cold Blood, uh, Shop Talk. It's on uh, YouTube. They're all on YouTube, I'm sure. And let me know what you think, which ones stand out for you of the 10 I'm giving you, all right? My best to all of you for looking in. Uh, if you haven't uh, visited uh, before, welcome, and take the time to go and just look through my catalog. I have a lot of lectures, but I, I teach in a very particular way in the open-handed position, uh, which enhances, uh, hopefully, you'll, your power, independence, and most importantly, your creativity. And if you haven't, please subscribe, because your subscription is the support and the inspiration for me to continue. Thank you always for that. So these are ten songs every drummer should know, and I think they're that important. All right, so uh, keep me posted. I have a lot of the technical drumming things coming up soon, but every once in a while I get these ideas in my head, and uh, from a historical perspective, I think drummers should know them. I don't care how old or how young or what you're doing. All right, good luck to all of you, and uh, let me know what you think. Take care.